let's get started on your Algebra 2 notes over parallel and perpendicular lines review. So first, let's review the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So two parallel lines, they're lines on your coordinate plane that will never, ever, ever intersect, which obviously means they're going to have to have the same rate of change for that to happen, which means the slopes of parallel lines are the same. So as you can see in this example, in the blue line, I have a slope of negative one half and the red line also has a slope of negative one half. They do have different y-intercepts because obviously they're different lines. They're parallel lines. So they're going to have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So what does that mean? Opposite reciprocals. Opposite means one's positive and one's negative. So as you can see, these two lines, they intersect to form a right angle. That makes them perpendicular lines. The slope of one of these lines is 2, and the slope of the other line is negative. Well, there's your opposite. One's positive and one's negative. And then it's a reciprocal. It's 1 over 2. It's flipping it. So 2, as a fraction, is 2 over 1. The reciprocal of that is I flip it, it's 1 over 2. So the opposite reciprocal of 2 is negative 1 over 2. So now let's write equations of parallel and or parallel lines. That's our first two examples. So we're going to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that is parallel to the graph in each equation and passes through the given point. So we have a line here that's y equals 5x plus 1, and we're, we're going to write the equation of a line that's parallel to that. If it's parallel to that, then the slope is going to be 5, because it's going to have the same slope. But it's going to pass through a different point. It's passing through this point, 414. Well, in the previous notes, we talked about writing equations of lines given a slope and a point on the line. And we use our point-slope formula of a linear equation, which looks like this. y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. So we're going to plug all of what we know into our formula. y minus y1 is y minus 14 equals, we've identified what our slope would be, it's 5 times x minus 4. And now we're just going to solve for y because we're putting this in slope-intercept form. So y minus 14 equals, I'm going to distribute this 5, 5x five minus 20. And then I'm going to solve for y by adding 14 to both sides, and I get y equals 5x minus 6. Negative 20 plus 14 is negative 6. And then how can you check your work? When I plug in, I have a slope of 5, so it is parallel to this line. When I plug in 4 for x, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 6 is 14. I get 14 for y. Boom. We're good to go. Okay, in number 2, I actually have the equation of the line in standard form. So I need to figure out what the slope of this line is. You may remember that the slope in standard form is the opposite of a over b. But what we're going to do is actually just convert this to slope-intercept form so that you can see that it looks just like number 1. So what I'm going to do is solve for y. The first thing I'm going to do is move this entire x term over to the other side. And I'm going to get 3y equals negative 4x plus 24. And then I'm going to divide every term by 3. And I get y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 8. So when I write the equation of the line that is parallel to this line, I know the slope of that line is going to be the same. So it's also going to be negative 4 thirds. And I know it's going to pass through this point right here. So let's plug in that point into this formula in point slope form. So y minus y1, y minus negative 10 is the same thing as y plus 10. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and write that down. y plus 10 equals my slope, which is negative 4 thirds, times x minus 6. And now we're just going to solve for y. So y plus 10 equals, I'm going to distribute this negative 4 thirds, and I'm going to get negative 4 thirds times x. Negative 4 thirds times negative 6 is positive 8. 
And then I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides, and I get y equals negative 4 thirds times x minus 2. And if I plug in 6 for x, I will get negative 10 for y, so I know my equation is correct. Let's move on to our next two examples, writing equations of perpendicular lines. So the directions say to write the equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular, opposite reciprocal slopes, to the graph in each equation and passes through the given point. So on problem number three, I have the equation of this line, y equals 2 thirds x minus 7. I know that the slope of the line that is perpendicular to this will have an opposite reciprocal slope, meaning it won't be positive, it'll be negative, and it won't be 2 over 3, it'll be flip it, 3 over 2. So now we have the slope and we have a point that this line passes through. So again, I'm going to rewrite this, y minus y1 equals my slope times x minus x1. That's point slope form of a linear equation. And I'm just going to plug in everything that I know. So y minus y1, y minus my y value equals the slope, which is negative 3 over 2, times x minus the x value. So x minus negative 2 is the same thing as x plus 2. And now I'm just going to solve for y. So I get y minus 4 equals negative 3 over 2 times x minus 3. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides to solve for y. So y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. Let's move on to number 4. So number 4, again, is an example that's written in standard form. Again, your slope is negative I'm not writing that very pretty, so let's read. Let's just erase that. Your slope is the opposite of a over b, so I know the slope of this line is going to be negative 4 over 2 or negative 2, but we're just going to solve for y to make it consistent. So I'm going to get y all by itself, and I'm going to do that by subtracting 4x from both sides, and then I'm going to divide every term by 2 to get rid of the 2 on the left side. So I get negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2x, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I know the equation of this line, or I'm sorry, the slope of this line is negative 2. The slope of a line that's perpendicular to this is going to be not negative, but positive, and not 2, or 2 over 1, but 1 over 2. Two. So now I have the slope and I have a point that this line passes through. So let's plug it into that point slope form of a linear equation. So y minus y1, well y minus negative 6 is the same thing as y plus 6, equals my slope, positive 1 half, times x minus x1. x minus negative 4 is the same thing as x plus 4. And now let's solve for y. So y plus 6 equals, I'm going to distribute this 1 half, 1 half x plus 2, and then I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So I get 1 half x minus 4. I have a slope of 1 half. When I plug in negative 4 for x, I get negative 6 for y. I know that my answer is correct. So let's move on to our last two problems on this set of notes. Graph the line, number 5, graph the line that is parallel to the x-axis. Here's my x-axis, so I know if it's parallel to that line, it's going to be a horizontal line and passes through the point 4, 9. If it's a horizontal line that passes through the point 4, 9, that means it's going to pass through this point. And it's parallel to the x-axis, so it's this line right here. What's the equation of that line? y equals 9. Number six, graph the line that is perpendicular, and I'm going to do my little symbols. Here's parallel, here's perpendicular. It looks like an upside down capital T. Graph the line that is perpendicular to the x-axis. So if this is my x-axis, it's horizontal, the line that's perpendicular to that is going to be a vertical line and passes through the point 7, negative 8. So that's actually going to be right down here. And it's going to be a vertical line that passes through that point. What's the equation of that line? x equals 7, right? x equals 7. 
And that concludes your notes over parallel and perpendicular lines, your Algebra 2 version. I hope it was helpful.